sooner or later, you are going to have to show the world the real you. You're going to have to come out from under your bed and say, this is me and I'm not afraid. And today I am standing up for myself, even though I'm the uh, I'm the only one. OK, <laughs> you're going to have to learn how to stand up for yourself, even when you're afraid. And that's not easy. You're going to have to learn how to stand up for yourself, even when you're looking a little bit shaky, baby. You're going to have to learn how to stand up for yourself without being frightened. Let me tell you this, deep divers, as human beings, there's a reason why we love to do what other people are doing, because it goes back to the first humans on the planet. You see, we lived in communities. And if you didn't do what everyone else was doing in the community, you would be an outcast. OK, which would mean that you would have to grow your own fruits and vegetables. You might be alone and that's going to be tricky. So as time went on, we learned the group think, we learned how to conform, we learned how to do what everyone else is doing. And this is why so many people have a hard time in standing up for themselves because they don't want to be the odd one out. They don't want to be an outcast, an outlaw. They don't want to be a fringe dweller. Well, sometimes that's what it takes because we've moved on from there, deep divers. And the most liberating thing you can do right now is to be who you truly are without fear, without being scared. Are you ready? The cat down the road is so ready, deep divers. Raising the frequency. What are we doing right now with the sun over there? With the sun over there, deep divers. Raising the vibration. Breathe with me, deep divers. You got to do better than that. Let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Another beautiful day, deep divers. There's no place I'd rather be than with the birds, bees, leaves, and trees. We got butterflies floating around. Now, someone sent me a great message. They're like, Ralph, I love your videos. How can I stand up for myself? How can I stand up for myself? even when I'm scared. Like right now, Ralph, I feel like the odd one out and it's like me against the world right now. It's me against the world right now, Ralph. And I want to know how you do it, Ralph, because I've seen you standing up for yourself, not only yourself, Ralph, but for all of us. And I want to know, how did you grow this strong, this spiritually strong, this emotionally strong, this mental strength that you have like how can you stand up for yourself and i know you're not scared ralph no i'm not scared right <laughs> peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers we are out here in the heart of nature baby take that take that take that good ass energy i'm sending you so first and foremost i do not have to fit in because I am custom made. Repeat it with me, deep divers. I don't have to fit in because I'm custom made. One more time. I do not have to fit in because I'm custom made. So many people spend their entire lives trying to fit in when they were born to stand out. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And when you are trying to fit in, it's very hard to stand up for yourself. I'm not here to please you. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to get on your good side. I'm here to keep it real with you, deep divers. And this is the reason why so many people respect me and they can relate to me because we keep it 100% real over here. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey, deep divers, to stand up for myself, even when I'm scared. I'm not scared, I'm not scared, deep divers, but once upon a time, I used to be scared. And I learned the art of how to stand up for yourself, even when you are scared. You see, to stand up for yourself, really what we're talking about is speaking your truth. Really what we're talking about is doing the unpopular thing. Really, what we're talking about is not following the crowd and living in your authentic truth. Let me tell you this. With so much happening in the world right now, 
A lot of people feel a certain way, but they are afraid. They are afraid to stand up for themselves because they are scared. So first and foremost, we have to address fear. What is fear? False evidence appearing real. Pardon? False evidence appearing real. We've got to remind ourselves your mind tricks you every single day. Your mind is a liar. It shows you things which are not real. You've got to remind yourself to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Remind yourself you must face what you fear. You must face your greatest fear. Don't run away from fear. Face fear head on. Look fear in the eyes. Look fear in the eyes and say, I'm not afraid. To stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Punishment and reward. The reason why many people do not stand up for themselves is because they believe that the punishment is greater than the reward. Nothing could be further from the truth. The reward is liberation. The reward is freedom. The reward is being yourself unapologetically. This is how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Remind yourself it's going to take time. It's going to take months, even years to really have this confidence. Confidence emanating from the Latin confidere, which means to trust. We have to trust ourselves. We have to own our truth. We have to own our truth. You have to own your truth, even if it's unpopular. I've been speaking my truth, standing up for myself and other people day in, day out. You know why? Because I don't care what you think. You know why? Because I'm owning this truth. I say, hey, I am not going to act small in front of you. I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm going to keep it real with you. And this is how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Take that small leap of faith to say, actually, who cares? Your opinions of me will not break me because they did not make me. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. I said your opinions of me will not break me because they did not make me. Remind yourself, life is too short to act small. We live in a flash of light. Before you know it, you are going to be out of here. So are you, are you going to live your entire life bottling up your true emotions, suppressing yourself, censoring yourself? Or are you going to say, I'm not afraid. What have I got to lose? Nothing. What have you got to lose? Nothing. And freedom is when you have nothing left to lose. That's why I'm so free. I've got nothing to lose. Neither do you. Neither does the cat down the road, deep divers. Let me tell you this. Stop impressing people. Stop impressing people you don't like, right? Stop trying to impress people. Stop buying things with money. <laughs> Stop buying things with money you don't have to impress people that don't even like you, okay? Many times, many times we spend our entire life trying to impress other people on social media. Say, hey, look at this, hey, look at me. And all of this makes you externalize your power. You are waiting for other people to validate your own existence, deep divers, to speak your truth, even when you are scared, you must remind yourself your true value is internal. You must internalize your power. You must internalize your values. You must internalize your integrity. You must say, this is who I am. I don't care how you feel about it. Politely, of course. <laughs> Stop trying to impress people. Stop living your life for other people just to say, hey, you did a great job or hey, I like that shirt. No, be who you are. And this is how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. 
Also, look at the relationship you have with fear. Fear, like I said many years ago, is the gatekeeper to your greatest evolution. When you do what you are most afraid of, you will now enter the door to your greatest evolution. To stand up for yourself even when you're scared, say, I refuse to be intimidated. With everything that's happening in the world right now, in the midst of this Omicron and everything else, new variants here and there, you got to say, I refuse to be intimidated. I refuse just to say what's popular. I refuse to hide how I really feel at work just so other people can be happy. No, I'm going to tell you how I really feel. This is how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Say, I'm going to piss some people off. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Remind yourself. Right now on the planet, they are trying to gaslight as many people as possible. What is gaslighting? It's a form of manipulation, a form of manipulation where you make someone doubt their own sanity. Oh, is that how you really feel? It's all in your head. You're going crazy. And I told you, you're not crazy. You are waking up. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So to stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, refuse to be gaslit. Say, actually, you are not going to gaslight me. You are not going to blackmail me. You're not going to blackmail me. You're not going to intimidate me. You're not going to extort me. I'm going to speak my truth freely so the whole world can hear it, right? To stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, you must learn to express yourself even when you are not, okay? To stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, you must learn how to express yourself even when you are not. Get, in, get into this routine of expressing yourself. I'm doing it every single day. I'm not scared right now. I'm saying peace, infinite waters. I've got this outlet, this creative outlet for me to express myself every single day, thousands of videos, this is how I'm building confidence. This is how I'm finding my voice. This is how I'm letting go of fear is practice. Confidence is a muscle. And therefore, to stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, you better get practicing. It doesn't happen overnight. It happens with years of practice of you standing in your power, standing in your truth and standing in your freedom to say, actually, this is who I am. I am happy being me. Remind yourself, the crowd is the matrix, pardon? The crowd is the matrix and the crowd are lost. To stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, say, actually, I would rather, I would rather follow myself than follow the crowd going in the wrong direction. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. To stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, Learn how to be alone. There's a reason why the prophets and the sages went into the wilderness for 30 days and 30 nights and they were meditating. They were having time just with themselves. So that's how you can learn how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Ralph Smart, I'm in nature every single day taking time to be with myself, my emotions. And this is how to learn how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Get comfortable in your own skin. A lot of people I meet, they're like, Ralph, I can't be alone. I don't know what to do. I'm looking a little bit shaky, baby. And we are never alone even if we tried. We are never alone even if we tried. But practice being in your own company. Accepting yourself for who you are accepting yourself for everything that you are, loving yourself, your perfect imperfections. This is how to build the confidence to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. In a room full of people who are saying one thing, you say, actually, I don't agree with that. Actually, I don't agree with that. 
learn how to say no to people. Even when they're forcing you to say yes, learn to not bite your tongue, learn to speak without a filter, learn to not censor yourself. Remind yourself, seven day vegan challenge, I'm eating for confidence every single day, beetroot, celery, arugula, spinach, E3 live, complete source of protein. So this is how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Start making sure what is on your plate is an ally instead of a foe. Oh, I like that. To stand up for yourself, deep divers. Even when you're scared, remind yourself there are people around you who can help you. Strength in numbers. I've got a lot of supporters and I don't have fans. I've only got family. Oh, I like that. So when you are scared, say, actually, I'm not alone. There are people out there just like me. And this is what gives you the confidence to stand up for yourself, to say, actually, when I said being free is your birthright, millions of people also echo that same sentiment. To stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, remind yourself, you don't want to have to go to bed thinking about what you could have said, should have said, would have said. Say it right now and you will be proud of yourself even if you're scared, even if your voice is trembling. Say, actually, later on, I'm going to be really proud of myself because I said it even though I was scared. I stood up for myself. And what you find is that you standing up for yourself even when you're scared, you are now an inspiration to other people to do the same thing. So you create this wave of influence. You create this wave of influence all around you. To stand up for yourself, even when you're scared, remind yourself, say, am I doing the right thing? That's the question you want to ask yourself. Am I doing the right thing? A lot of people are silent. And your silence, even in what's happening in the world right now, the world is turning into a 1984, a 1984 Orwellian nightmare. If you are silent, you are also responsible for what's happening. Your silence is consent. Pardon? Your silence is consent. Uh? Your silence is consent. So when you open your mouth and say, actually, I'm standing up for humanity. I'm standing up to protect the freedom of my children's mental health. I'm standing up to protect the freedom of humanity to say, actually, we came here to be sovereign. We came here to be free. I'm not going to be silent about what's happening because too much is at stake. This is how to stand up for yourself even when you're scared. Look at the big picture. Look at the big picture. Say, actually, if I don't speak, it could cost me more. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. And I'm going to do the right thing until eventually I will not be scared because I face fear to realize there was actually nothing to be afraid of. And that's why I'm just saying, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers breathe with me. Woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everyone who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you are a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, go and buy the clothing, okay? DM me, let me know why you have what it takes to be an infinite waters model, okay? Okay. Add me on Instagram, Deep Divers, for more daily inspiration. At Ralph Smart, at official Ralph Smart, and Facebook, at Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, and Snapchat is that... <laughs> Good ass prana, baby. Check out the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful, life changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. Do not allow yourself to be silenced. Stand up for yourself even when you're scared because you did not come here to fit in. You came here to stand out. 
You did not come here to suppress your emotions. You came here to express your emotions. You did not come here to go to sleep, worrying about what you should have said, could have said, didn't say. Say it right now and remind yourself. The more you can face what you are afraid of and stand up for yourself, the more you can encourage other people to do the same. And that's what I've been doing for all these years, deep divers. And that's why I'm not afraid. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. I love all of you. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. Yo! Leave a comment down below, deep divers of love and appreciation, and let me know how you are standing up for yourself, even when you're scared. Let me know. I'm not afraid, deep divers. There's nothing to be afraid of. One love to all of you. Peace.